Hey, this is Chris Menard. Let me show you something really cool with Microsoft OneDrive for Business. If you need to create survey forms or even quizzes, it's actually already set up for you. You just got to make your questions up. So I just signed into office.com. I don't see forms on here. So I'm going to go to the app launcher, scroll down, and you will see forms. I think I passed it, but there it is. Click it once. And I've already created a few forms, and one of them I've actually used, and I'll show you what the results look like in just one second. And as you notice right here, I've had eight responses to this survey I did, but I'm going to make a new one. It's a new form. And I want to do a quick form to find out when's the best day to have a webinar and what would people like to see. I could put in a description if I want to. I could also add images over here. And I'm going to simply, though, add a question. I've got four options by default. And if you click here, you got one more called ranking. I'm going to do choice. It's the one you'll probably use most frequently. What is the best day for the webinar? And I could sit here and type in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But I know Mondays are not the best day, so I'm going to leave Monday off. Add option, click it, there you go, Thursday, and one more, Fridays aren't good days, but let's put it in there anyway. <clears throat> right now it's a multiple choice, and they can only pick, uh, sorry, right now it's multiple choice, they can only pick one. If you wanted them to pick two or one or more, you could pick multiple answers. You could also make the question required. You can shuffle the order, and you can add subtitles to the question, but I'm going to add another question. Uh, choice again. What topics would you like to see covered? And let's assume that it's a Microsoft Word webinar. Headers, table of contents, TOC. I'll keep this easy. You don't want to watch me type. Uh, add option. We're also going to show uh, spell check. I know I'm misspelling spell check. It's okay. Add option. I could sit here and list a bunch of stuff. I'm going to show them how to do an index at the end of the document. And I could also let them pick add other option. Now, if I had 15 items listed, I do want to see multiple answers so they can pick those. One more add question. Let's say this time now you're not asking about a webinar. It's actually a survey for training that you conducted. I'm going to click on rating. Please rate the class. And you can either do 5 or 10. You can either do stars or numbers. Actually, matter of preference, I like the stars. And I'm going to stick here. Add another question. Do you want them to put in their name? Sure. Let's make it text. Please type in your first name. Add question, another text box. Favorite word features. Right now it's a short answer, so make it a long answer. Again, you can make this required if you want to. And here's what I really like about Microsoft Forms because I've used the OneDrive before, SurveyMonkey. If I click here and I go to Settings, by the way, before I go to Settings, I'm not going to cover it today, but it covers branching. So if you ask somebody in a survey that just took PowerPoint Basic and you said, are you interested in PowerPoint Advanced? If they said yes, then the survey continues and you let them put in their name and email. If they said no, then the survey would end. That's branching. And I'm going to go to settings. Right now, it's only people in my organization, but I'm going to say anyone with the link can respond. I'm currently accepting responses, but here's what I found really nice for me. When I do a lot of my surveys for training, I only want people to be able to put in responses possibly 45 minutes before class ends up to 20 minutes after it ends. So I can come in here and set in dates and time. I'm going to put in 3.30. And it's going to be at the 3rd on 
430. Because right now, what I'm using, I have to manually do that. You can also shuffle the questions if you want to. And then when it's time to share it, you just simply click on Share. There's the URL. Now that's if you want to embed it. That's if you want to email it. So it's that simple. So now let me show you what else I like about this. I'm going to go back to Microsoft Forms. I can also not only do forms, I can do a quiz. And when you do a quiz, you're saying, well, that sure looks like what you did before. I could title it here. When I go to choice, you can add points in here. And another feature I like about it, so I'm not going to sit here and run through the quiz. When I go back to forms, here is an Excel survey that eight people responded with. I'm going to open it up. I'll actually let you see what this looks like. So there are some questions that I asked. Here are the responses right here. It shows you quickly little uh, pie charts about what everyone responded. But what's nice is you can open this in Excel. And Excel is going to start up immediately. And I'll just show you how this looks. It's coming. There you go. Enable editing. And I'm obviously not showing anyone's name in here, so an email was anonymous. But you can sit here and quickly analyze the data. Those are the questions that I asked. There's my responses. So I got good reviews from that survey. Anyway, that is Microsoft Forms, and it is part of... Sorry about that. Microsoft Forms is part of Microsoft OneDrive Office 365. That's right, it's a part of Office 365 for business, and it's also part of Office 365 for education. Thank you. Mm -hmm.